Hi there, me again, your friendly neighborhood humble st st stroke assaulter. So today, today's video is going to be a quick one, 10, 15 minutes-ish. Um, you'll notice I'm stuttering a bit more. Um, I'm finishing my last day of my first week returning to work. Um, so my aphasia, my apraxia, my anomia is acting up. Uh, it's anxiety-related. We'll, we'll get into that. I'll, I might do a video about that. Um, Luckily, returning to work is going to give me content. So, first off, I want to recognize my t-shirt. It's a Dr. Seuss-inspired t-shirt that says, I do not like stroke here, I do not like stroke there, I do not like stroke anywhere. Considering starting a Teespring account, I uh, want to figure out how, um, to, start to sell a sarcastic stroke t-shirt. So, if you'd like a sarcastic stroke t-shirt, please leave a comment down below. I'd like a sarcastic stroke t-shirt. And I will start a Teespring account and offer sarcastic stroke t-shirts. So, um, that being said, so let's get on to the, the thing at hand. So I've got some new subscribers, uh, Tony Taylor Hustlers Barefoot Music. Thank you for joining. Not sure how you found us, but thank you. Um, Stanfua, I think that's the right pronunciation. If I murdered that, I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll just claim white male privilege. Perfect. Um, I noticed you only subscribe to three channels. One of them is mine. The other one, ha the other two have like hundreds of thousands of subscribers so how you came across me i don't know but thank you thank you for trusting me with small snippets of your time so let's get down to some comments uh scott fleiss you made a comment on the fatigue after stroke video you might you my you are also a uh, stroke folk you're about two weeks out of the hospital yeah i got good news i got bad news the good news is the fatigue will get better Bad news is, I can't tell you when or how. Right? Uh, all I can suggest is, on the interim, uh, just um, take it one day at a time. Embrace your inner tortoise. Nap when you need to. Educate your family and friends. Um, you may find other content on the channel that you can show your family and friends. I've done a whole bunch of videos. Some of it's rants. Some of it I say bad words on the internet. Some of it's response videos to idiots, and we'll get into that in a minute. Um, and then, um, but I'm glad you found us. I'm going to encourage you to subscribe, not because I'm just looking for the likes and clicks and views. It's You might find content here that I'm going to do. And, and Scott, because you're stroke folk, email me at strokeassaulter gmail.com. We can begin a conversation. If there's something you're curious about that you want a video done about, email me. I'll make it happen. Right, Mr. G Blues Man. Um, now is that you play blues in the key of G? Or your first name's G and you play the blues? I don't know. Anyways, uh, you left a comment during the goal setting during stroke rehab. You're welcome. I'm glad you found it. Again, not sure if you're stroke folk, um, but I'm glad you found the video. Um, I'm kind of curious what you enjoyed about the video, right? Um, but I'm glad you found it. Um, again, not sure how you stumbled across the channel, but I'm glad you're here. Uh, now let's talk about, uh, a commenter by the name of me, you, me, you, meaning two people. Um, you know what? You, you left some comments about a video, a video, and I'm going to agree with you. When it comes to returning to work from a stroke, there's a lot of pitfalls. Um, and I'm going to be honest about that. Um, now this, what I'm about to say, I'm just going to preface the comment I'm about to make has nothing to do with my specific situation, right? And, and if, if you go on the internet and some of the stroke forums on Facebook, like Stroke Talk for Facebook, uh, Young Survivors uh, of Stroke, um, the Stroke Coffee House, you're right. Some employers just don't get it. They just don't get it. All they see is the injury, right? All they see is that you are intellectually stunted from where you were before you are physically stunted um that you, now you need accommodations that you didn't need six months ago a year ago two years ago three weeks ago um that some of your accommodations are completely uncertain like that wasn't a thing a week ago didn't know it was a thing case in point i'm at work today uh my manager her and i have a really good relationship she offers me a candy it's one of those fake cinnamon candy things didn't know what it was because it was a candy I've never seen before. She offered it to me like, well, what's that? And I'm become like a six year old. I'm not eating that. What is that? So I smelled it, and it had that smell of um, 
industrial cinnamon, like not real cinnamon. And I challenge like, yeah, you find me cinnamon listed on that package anywhere. And what order is it in the ingredients? Yeah, fun fact, cinnamon not listed. Technically, that's not cinnamon. Hashtag not my cinnamon. Um, and I'm like, hey, what is that? Like, I've never since my stroke had a like an, a smell reaction like that before. Um, now getting it into the, how to feed your troll section, right? I've acquired a troll. We'll get into why. So my most watched videos are directly in relationship to the two numpties down in fucking Australia. That's what it is. Um, Thomas and Johnny. My, my, my largest selection of viewed videos are the three um, that I did about them. Uh, one is an hour long, and the one is like 12 minutes, and one is 20-ish minutes. So, I appreciate this channel is not intended, designed, nor developed to do response videos. I felt compelled to do videos. I've acquired a troll because of them. So, I'm going to give a shout out to Seamus Sky. Hi, Seamus. You're my troll. At least I assume you're my troll. I'm going to, I'm going to yeah, fuck it, you're my troll. Um, someone gave a down vote on a, a video entitled Self Conscious After Stroke, right? It's an educational video about how people that have had strokes might feel self conscious in public after their stroke. It's like a public service announcement in a way. How can you downvote that? There's zero controversy and aluminium or vitamins in that entire video. Zero. Um, I don't get it, but you downvoted it. I'll give you that. Okay, great. So I insulted your favorite YouTubers. That leaves one of two scenarios, possibly three. One. You subscribe to multiple channels, both of which I've, which I've insulted somehow. Statistically, not possible. Two, you subscribe to a specific channel that has two YouTubers on it, and I've made videos about those two Australian fucking scam artists. Right? That is probably more likely. So, Thomas and Johnny, fuck you. You're lying little fucks. You're thieves of air, waste of rations, bags of skin that live on our upright and talk, and... To shame this guy, you're happy I had a stroke because I insulted your um, favorite YouTubers and I offended you. Well, please tell me exactly how I offended you. How exactly did I offend you? Because uh, right now I'm not talking about the idiot fucking scam artists from Australia. I'm talking about you. You, shame this guy. I'm a small YouTube channel with 51 subscribers. I'd like to thank all 51 of you. You're amazing people. Well, even though I probably don't know most of you. Um, that being said, how did I offend you? Please find one piece of information that is factually incorrect in any three of my videos. The game is afoot. Right? Now, got some other responses from Healed Sim. Sorry if I mispronounce that, my friend. I apologize. Um, I agree with you. Um, eventually, the Australian scam artist twins will step on their own dicks. We just need to give it time. Eventually, they will fuck up yet again. Uh, the magic of the internet is nothing is never on the internet once it's on the internet. And we all have long memories. Maybe. Right? Uh, Kire. Again, sorry if I mispronounce that. Douglas. Um, yep, they're clickbait garbage. The scam artist twins are total clickbait garbage. Totally, they like how many fidget video spinner things do you need? Um, and their last bear trap video, mm, hashtag that's not a bear trap. Hashtag that's not cinnamon. Um, around Indiana, around Indiana. Um, yeah, they're they're uh, potential giveaways. Shady as fuck. I'm honestly going to say they never gave a single thing away. And if they have given things away, Thomas and Johnny of Extreme Games, if you happen to watch this, great. Love your channel. Make sure great content for mine, because you're idiots. Um, 
If you've given a single thing away, you can prove it with shipping details and a picture of the person receiving it. You know, well, like there's many ways to prove that. But I'm going to say you can't. Uh, Love Lee. I don't know if I've encountered your comment before. Uh, if I have, and I'm just duplicating myself, I'm sorry. Love Lee. Thank you for the feedback. Um, I'm now back to work. We'll have more funds shortly. So I'll be able to afford better equipment, a better microphone, a better camera, maybe a better camera with the microphone included. Um, and then some editing software so I can get into the swing of things. I'm still trying to get my brain to like learning new tasks, right? Not as easy as you would think some days. And lastly, I want to talk out, uh, shout out to the Stroke folks. I've not heard from a couple of you in a while, so I'm hoping you are okay. Susie Q and Ashley Stubbings. I have not heard from either of you two people in a while. Please leave a comment down below, or you can email me at strokeassaulter at gmail.com. Just let me know you're okay, right? Um, because ultimately, unless you've immediately had a stroke or you're around people that have had a stroke, you really don't get how debilitating a stroke can be. Uh, now, this channel was started um, as informational for my friends and family. I have family out in British Columbia. I have family out west. I'm in Ontario and Canada. I, I, I'm about four and a half hours away from my family, so... You know, this way, our other friends that are scattered around the province, um, people can check up on me without having to call me, right? And I don't have to answer the same question 15 times. Um, but it's morphed into making content on strokes uh, more generally, and the odd response video now and again, but that's not going to be my bailiwick. That's that's not going to be my hitching post. Right? That's just not where I'm going to be. Um, but that being said, to my troll, Seamus Sky. And I'm addressing you. I challenge you to find anything in my videos that is, is patently erroneous. That is intentionally meant to mis mis mislead anyone about the response videos I made about Thomas and Jonathan, the two Australian fucktards. They're thieves of air, wastes of rations, and bags of skin that have learned to walk upright and talk. And if you find it insulting that I found it insulting, that they want to claim we're dying. No. You're not going to die from vertigo unless you're a high-angle steel worker falling off a building under construction. You're not going to die from kidney problems that can be fixed by a chiropractor pushing on you. It's not a thing. Right? But, all in all, I just thought I'd do a quick shout-out, um, answer a few comments really quickly. Um, you know... Strokes are a messy situation. Uh, there are many, many things out there, right? I'm right now in the middle of going back to work. So in regards to me, you, um, your comment about how employers perceive you, um, you know what? I know you're stroke folk. I know you had a rough go. I'm in the middle of that right now. I don't know how that's going to look for me. But I'm going to do a series of videos, some in generalities about returning to work um, and some about my experience. Um, and, and how, in a, in a vlog sort of thing. Um, but that being said, it's not easy, right? Um, and anyone wants to think that, oh, you're better now, it's, it's, it doesn't work. It's not, it, it, that's not a thing. Um, actually, I'm, I'll probably do a video on that. Now, that being said, let's get into some content issues. If there's anything anyone wants to see me cover that's related to strokes, mental health, uh, I'll even do brain injury because stroke is a brain injury. Um, email me at strokeassaulter at gmail.com. I say again, email me at strokeassaulter at gmail.com. Again, if, if the co topic of conversation is relevant, um, I, I will make a video about that. If it's not, I'll let you know, hey, dude, that's offside, not my, not my, not my wheelhouse. You're going to talk to someone else. However, if there's a video you want me to make, I'll make it as long as it makes sense. Um, however, if Jonathan and Thomas ever indicate they're dying again, I'll, I'll happily make a video about that. Um, so, shame of Sky, prepare to troll on. And I, again, I'm going to start a GoFundMe to build a bridge so the troll can live under it, because trolls live under bridges historically, so they can collect, um, um, what's the word, word, dude, tolls, 
um, tolls from people attempting to travel freely. And that's not a dig towards Article 4 free inhabitants, or, or Moorish, or sovereign citizens, or people think that their cars are vessels. Whatever. It's a thing. It's on the internet. You Google it. So, I'm glad for everyone that's joined the channel, been watching the channel, making comments about the channel. If there's a video that you see that you want to make a comment about, just please go ahead, drop a comment down below. Uh, if you want to contact me, you can contact me at strokeassaulter at gmail.com. I say again, you can contact me at strokeassaulter at gmail.com. Um, it's my intention uh, probably to do some fitness videos um, in regards to just some of the general workout routines I'm going to be using to get myself back uh, back into the fight, so to speak. Um, and just keep in mind, I'm not a doctor. I've only played one on TV. Uh, any advice I give, anything I discuss, please go find your own rele relevant clinical team and, and have an open, honest discussion with them so you're not putting yourself at risk. Because um, trust me, I'm a determined fuck. I, I'm a completely determined fuck. And, and I have goals and I'm going to meet them. And if you're in the way, contact front. That, that's where that ends. If you're in my way, you're an obstacle. At that point, it's contact front. Um, <clears throat> but if you know someone going through the throes of stroke recovery themselves, if you know someone supporting someone going through the throes of stroke recovery, please like the channel, share with them, get them to subscribe so they get the content that might be able to help them with some of the difficulties they have because I know it's difficult at times for me to find the information I need for me. Um, if um, you have been enjoying the content, please like, share, subscribe, hit the little bell thingy, dingy, dingy, ding, ding, um, so you find out the videos there immediately. Um, and if you happen to notice either in yourself or someone around you, the signs and symptoms of a stroke, that being someone that appears, like, and these things happen immediately, like within seconds, you're having a great day, and then these things start to happen. You know, they appear befuddled or confused, and it appear, it's, it's out of situational context, right? And there's no funny chemicals around, or if you haven't hit them over the head, please don't do that. That's bad. Um, they immediately start to have vision problems. They can't see out of one eye. They can't move their eyes. They see in grayscale. They can't see color. You know, they can only see half the world, whatever the case may be. Um, they are starting to have facial droop, you know, one side or the other, or God forbid, both. Um, they can't raise both arms equally effectively or at all. They can't smile equally effectively or at all. They have slurred, stuttering speech, inappropriate word, word usage for situation or context. They have general body weakness, weakness on one side, inability to stand unaided. Please, immediately place that person in a position of comfort and dial 911 if you're in North America. And if you happen to be in Europe, you're going to dial 999, right? Because when you make that phone call, something so simple can save a life.